Hello viewer, welcome back to Heart History. My name is Dennis Songweso and I'm going to present a topic uh, in the mathematics, that is uh, matrices. In matrices, we have categories of matrices. We have the orders of matrices, the orders. We have two by two matrices. We have two by three. Two by two means uh, the column. We have two columns and two rows. This means we have two rows, three columns. Three by two, three rows, two columns, or three by three, three columns three rows so any of this representation can be called a matrix if it, ha it is having two ma uh, two columns or a three whichever the case but in this nature we call that matrices let us start with the the how, how to determine the determinant determinant of a two by two matrix a two by two matrix a two by two matrix for example you have two four uh, minus two minus two Three. This is a, a good example of a two by two matrix, and you are being asked to determine the determinant of this. For you to get the determinant of this, you will present using this format. Use straight lines. The straight lines indicates that even if you don't write that you are finding the determinant, the straight lines alone can uh, show somebody that you are finding the determinant. A determinant of a 2 by 2 matrices is given by the product of the reading diagonal minus the opposite diagonal. Like ours here, we have 2 times 3, 2 times 3 minus the reading diagonal minus 2 times 4, 4 times minus 2. So this is 6 minus, this is a minus 8. So 6 minus minus 8 is 14. Now 14 becomes our determinant. Further on this, if you might be asked to determine the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. So the inverse the inverse is given by 1 over determinant 1 over determinant over into the matrix but now the matrix these two interchange interchange the position with this so 2 takes the position of 3 and the 3 takes this position and uh, the at the diagonal, they interchange the signs. So we have 3, 4, minus 2, 2. You interchange the signs. Uh, that is uh, 3, 2, minus 4, 4. So after interchanging the signs this way, therefore we call it this an inverse. Therefore, it should be 1 over minus 14 into 3, 4, minus 2, 2. For you to know that it is mathematically correct, if you take the inverse, if you assume this is A, matrix A, this is A inverse, if you take A inverse, 
you multiply by a, it should give you i, where i is the identity matrix and i is represented by this. Let us prove that we have 1 over minus 14, 2 minus 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, no, no, no. This is a, this is a 3, 4, Oh, sorry for that. The, the inverse, you interchange the sign digits, the, the two matrices, these are the these interchange the positions, and these the interchange the signs. So I think uh, there's a mistake here. We should have three minus four, two, two. It's okay. Now we have three, two, minus four, two. And then we multiply by the matrix two, minus two, four, three. So don't make a mistake of multiplying this with the matrix inside. Just bring it outside here. Multiply this by this, and then you, then you proceed. In the multiplication of uh, uh, of matrices, we normally multiply this row with this column. This corresponds to this, and this corresponds to this. Let us start with the first one. This times this, that is uh, three times two is six. We have six. Whereas this times this eight. This times this and then this times this eight. We have fourteen. The determinant was not minus. It's okay. Therefore, next this times this is twelve. And then this, uh, the, uh, this time is this minus 12. Uh, now let us come to this row. This time is this. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times minus 2, minus 4. This and uh, this column. This time is this will be 8. And this time still will be six. If you open that one over fourteen, this six, six plus four plus eight is fourteen. This twelve minus twelve is zero. This one is zero, and this one is fourteen. If you can. Now multiply this with what is in, in the bracket. This 14 and this 14 will cancel out. We have 1, 0, 0, 1. So when you get an expression of this nature, we call this unit matrix. So when you take the inverse of a matrix, you multiply by the matrix itself it should give you the, the, the unit matrix. And, uh, under this subtopic, we have covered the types or the orders of a matrix. We have said in the matrices, we have, we have a two by two matrix. We have a two by three matrix. We have a three by two. We have a three by three matrix. 
and they have one father and they discussed on how to find the universe of a matrix we have said if you have a matrix like this if you take the product of this minus the product of this you get what we call determinant and if you take one of a determinant times this matrix but now you interchange the position of this and this and then then it's saying any change you get the universe finally we have said that if you take a universe that's the universal matrix times a matrix itself you should get a identity matrix and that marks the end of today's lesson i have been your presenter dennis songweso keep tuned to rim tv thank you